Hello! Oh my god, it's been like, what, two weeks, I want to say, since our last video. Um, let there be light. It's like after five right now, so the sun's going down. Um, yeah, we were supposed to do this video, like, earlier in the week, but Kyle wanted to add on this, like, extra bit of whatever to the video. Which I'm all for suggestions from him. I like to see him getting involved and getting excited to do these. So um, basically today I went and hung out with Abby. We went and got our nails done. It's like a ritual. We go get our nails done at the same place together. Then we go get Starbucks. We do this like probably once every two weeks or so. Um, I went with something a little more basic this time. Can you guys see those little hearts? Yeah, normally I'm all about like rhinestones and like pink and sparkle and stuff, but this time I went a little more basic. So anyway, that's off topic, but um, yeah, so we're waiting for Kyle to get home. He had work today. He had practice. Um, he coaches the youth wrestling team at Pink Conning, so he had that after work. He's running to the store, and he's picking up ingredients for a meal that we're going to cook together while we do this vlog, okay? So I'm not much on cooking, to be honest with you. I try to look things up on Pinterest, and I try to go along with it, but he is way more into cooking than I am. So we decided it would be fun, or I should say he decided it would be fun if we did like a cooking vlog together. He found a recipe off Pinterest. We're going to see if we can cook it up, if it's a fail, if it's good, whatever. And while we're cooking, we're going to unbox our love box. So many of you who follow me on social media uh, saw the Valentine's Day gifts that I got Kyle. One of them being super cheesy Valentine's Day socks, which I will put an insert now. Alright, open it up. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! What is this? <laughs> 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 These are socks? Yeah! I wonder why I wear them. Whenever. <laughs> Whenever you want. All the time, every day. <laughs> Whenever you want. Do you love why them? Why is this? Why is this <laughs> all the time? Every day. The because it's the these? best. You wear them when you drink out of your lover straw. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Okay, so those were the socks that I got him. They were a total hit. So many of you loved them. He loved them, even though he thought they were cheesy as hell. And so someone requested, actually a couple people requested that since we're so cheesy, they were curious to see what kind of gifts we've gotten each other before. Um, you know, things of that nature. So you're in luck. Mama has kept a love box is what we call it. And it's basically like a bunch of trinkets and little gifts that we've gotten each other over the time frame of us being together, which is over four years now, uh, married a little over a year. And so yeah, so we're going to unbox that. We're going to expose the cheese. We're going to do a little date night cook night. Fingers crossed that the meal turns out like perfection. And yeah, I'm just excited that you guys are here hanging out with us. Just admit it. Starting off the vlog with an argument because I'm at 19% battery and I can't find the charger for this. Someone and thinks I'm blaming it. him and I'm not. You are blaming me. I'm not blaming you. I'm simply stating a fact that. I walked hmm, in the door with a meal to be That's cooked. great and I'm excited, but we are not going to be able to do the vlog if we can't find a freaking charger. All I'm simply stating that we just need to find the charger. That's all I'm stating. I'm going to. It's right there. Rude. No, it's not. After searching for the cord. For li literally over, what, an hour, I want to say? Probably. Um, we didn't find it. <laughs> but we figured out that it'll charge through another cord. So, whatever. Okay, so Kyle chose this spinach and artichoke pasta um, as our meal tonight. He sent me this on Pinterest. So we're going to look up the ingredients. He makes a really good spinach and artichoke dip, but we've never had it in a pasta. And I love pasta, so I'm excited about this. So, he is just finishing up some dishes right now. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's really crappy in here because it's winter and 
it gets dark out so early. So we oh. just have all these lights on. What? Oh. Was that your protein thing? I told you it's nasty and you always leave that for me to do. Sick. I'm going to keep leaving it easy. No. All right, so prep time, five minutes. Cook time, 25. Total time, 30. I like that kind of a meal. Are you looking at the right one? Yeah, it's the one you sent me. Why? Did you send me more than one? So, oh, kitty meow meow. What are you doing over there? Because I want to be a star. Where are you? I, I hear you, but I don't. Oh, oh. Hi, kitty meow meow. Hey. Okay, so bow tie pasta. I don't even think they can read this. Bow tie pasta, artichoke hearts. And I'm like post chewing my gum below. in your ear. Um, so you will post and comment below. Post what and comment below? The recipe. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We'll do an insert. Look at you. Feels so good. <laughs> Feels so good. Kitty meow meow. Come on now. Okay, so Kyle went and picked up the ingredients. There's hot sauce in this? Or did you just little, get hot sauce? Dash. A dash of hot sauce and spinach and artichoke? I don't know if I trust that. She's a golden girl. Hi, kitty meow meow. She thanks me for being a friend. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Look at her. I can't get her off me. She loves you. Oh. Daisy, you love your mama. You're just wrestling on her bosom. Alright, so babe is starting the dinner. He's got the instructions over there. And this meal costs roughly what, babe? $22. $22 hairs. Which is a pretty cheap price compared to what you'd probably pay to get this going out. I mean, we definitely do go out for dinner on occasion, but we like to prepare things at home because it's cheaper. And it's fun to try new things. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to open up the love box with Kitty Mammy laying on me, shedding all over me. Seriously. Like, she won't stop. Say hi! Say hi! She's a kitty. Meow, 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 meow. This is the love box, and it has grown. It used to be in a smaller box, and it's definitely outgrowing even this box. So this is the top, but I took it off already. So we'll just start to like, I guess I'm just going to open this up, and we'll see what cheesy finds we can find. You're going to hear an explosion in a An explosion? Yeah. Why? Well, do you have a cover over it? No. Why? Because... Come on. Come on. Come on. She's scared. Okay, so first thing that I'm pulling out of the love box, this is just a box that we keep little trinkets of like different trips we've been on or like little cheesy gifts we've picked up for each other and they're seriously like pennies, like not even joking. It's nothing like extravagant, but they mean something to us. So this is Motor City Brew Tours. Mm -hmm. This was a little glass and I believe we have another one somewhere because we both got one. Um, this was a glass that we got on our anniversary. We went on this, like, what would you call it? It's not necessarily a cruise, per no, se, beer but a uh, beer tasting thing on the Detroit River. So through, what was it called? I forget. Yeah, I don't know. Motor City Brew Tours. But I forget the name of the boat. Um, so that's that. So we have that in the love box. Why don't you say something about the trip? What do you think? Something about the trip? What would you rate it? Would you recommend <laughs> Um, I would recommend it. I would say it was fun. It was really fun. You and think it was fun? Of your I feel like I need to sit with you in the so <laughs> then the next thing, I don't know, how would you rate it? I thought it was fun. Fun? Yeah, I, I thought they, it was fun. I think they gave you plenty of drinks. We went uh we went and stayed with friends one night and then we went out on the town and met up with my cousin Cherie and then Kyle surprised me and got us a hotel room because we technically really couldn't afford it, but he found a good deal, so he surprised me, and then he took me on this um, uh, beer tour thing, I guess, for lack of better words. I think that's what it's called. Okay, next thing is a little sombrero hat, and this we got on our cruise, our honeymoon, to Cozumel. 
so it's we got this from the tequila place. Oh, I wonder if Kitty Meow Meow could fit in this. Yeah. Is this perfect for Kitty? Oh, oh. <laughs> no, nope, it's not for you to play with. Is this perfect for Kitty Meow Meow hat? <laughs> Kitty Meow Meow. Kitty Meow Meow. Do you want to wear this sombrero? Do you like tequila? <laughs> I'm afraid she's gonna like scratch me. She like it. Just kidding. She doesn't. So we got this from our cruise at this little tequila shop. Um, we did tequila taste testing. And it was weird because I'm not like a huge tequila girl. I think it's nasty. Like absolutely disgusting. But they had um, different types of tequila, which was interesting. We got to learn about it. And then we got to taste test some. And some of it really wasn't that bad. Like it went down really smoothly. Didn't they have one that was chocolate, babe? Yeah. It was like chocolate. It was super weird. Um, so yeah, that was on our honeymoon. We went two weeks after our wedding. We went on a cruise. It was actually um, through my beauty business that we earned this cruise, which was cool because it landed around the time of our honeymoon. And um, yeah, we went to Cozumel. My, well, we drove from Michigan to Miami, yeah. which how, how was that? How would you rate that drive? Do not recommend. I'm afraid of planes, so I made him drive from Michigan all the way to Miami, which is basically to Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, and it was fun on the way there, but on the way back, I'm pretty sure we wanted to kill each other before it was all said and done because, you know, on the way there, like, you have something to look forward to, you're excited, and then on the way back, it's just like, I need to be home in my bed, and I didn't sleep, like, a wink, like, at all. I was so freaked out going you know we didn't stop anywhere on the way back so we drove straight through and we'd be like winding through these hills and stuff in the dark and I was just so freaked out and then the first night on the way there we made a pit stop like halfway and we stayed at this super sketch hotel like I even think it was like a motel I don't even think it was a hotel it was Motel six. yeah it was a motel and there was this like creepy guy who got there the same time that we did oh, look at this hair um and his room was like right next to ours. So he like followed us up and then like the room totally had like a stain on the floor that looked like a blood stain. I mean, I've watched enough CSI to know what it was. So that was really uncomfortable. But then the next night when we actually got in Miami, the night before we boarded the um, cruise, we stayed in a really nice hotel. So that kind of made up for it. So we got all sorts of experiences on our honeymoon um, for sure. Bristlet. <laughs> our honeymoon as well, bless you, Jeez. from Shaka Knob Adventure Beach Park. Kitty Meow Meow, get. No. Um, what did we do there, babe? That was a seal, wasn't it? That was, yep, there were seals. Well, that's where we did the tequila taste testing, too. Yeah. And where we went and we got, um, we got massages by the beach in these little tiki huts. Yeah, that. Um, I loved it. However, I will say the girls who gave us our massages totally thought Kyle was so hot. No, like, hundred percent. Like, I don't even know what they were saying, but I could see them looking at each other and giggling, and I was like, <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> so that was really cool. And then we got to go snorkeling too, which I wish that I would have had like a GoPro that could like go underwater or something. We should do that next time if we ever end up doing that because yeah. it was really cool. We didn't go out too far because I was really afraid. Um, but it was fun. I liked, you know, we got to see some cool stuff and it was pretty sweet. This is another little trinket that we have in the love box. This is from, where was this from? <laughs> that. I want to say it was that bar. That bar that we went to. Something frogs. Senior frogs or something. So we met up with a bunch of um, unique girls after our little excursion or whatever for the day. And we got food and drinks and they were passing these out. And we did like the, um, what do they call that? It was like a cha-cha line is yeah. what I want to call it. I don't know. And then they had like little, this guy like pouring tequila and we were like cha-cha. I'm like, yeah, no, it was cool. It was fun. <laughs> These are um, garters from the wedding that I never actually wore. I don't even really know why I kept this because I never actually wore it. I think, I forget why. I, my mom forgot them. I was supposed to, my mom was supposed to bring them and she forgot them at home. So I didn't end up wearing them, but I kept them in the love box. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, because what did you end up taking off of my leg? I forget. Uh, underwear. Yeah, he like had this like at our wedding. He snuck. I didn't even know he was doing this. Like this huge granny pair of underwear, and pulled that out from my dress, and it was really funny. Someone got it on the tape too. We have pictures of it. Okay, next 
I have my original box that my engagement wedding ring came in. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Probably not. But I kept the box just because it's special to me. It was a beautiful memory. We have that on tape too when Kyle proposed to me. It was at my, um, my parents, they have a family party every summer called Oglefest. So our whole family was there. And it just so happens that summer Kyle had graduated with his master's degree. So I wanted to combine and kind of have like a little graduation party for him. So I invited all of his friends and family. Um, had a cake made for him and everything. And then he, it was in between bands or something. On the microphone yeah. he took it and called me up there in front of all of our friends mm -hmm. and family and mm -hmm. got down on one knee I don't even really remember what he said because it was such a blur I instantly covered my face because <laughs> it was like instant tears and then I didn't even get, get a chance to look at the ring I just grabbed him and hugged him and like held him for like it felt like five minutes and I was just crying what would you do if I didn't propose I didn't mess around. oh my gosh I would have been so mad that would be so rude I I've seen some of those videos on Facebook where like they fake like they act like it and the girl freaks out and then they go I'm just tying my shoe I would that is not nice like I don't think that's a funny joke at all <laughs> I would not be cool with that another random thing in the love box a senior picture of mine <laughs> I don't I think this is the one that you had in your car yeah. for a while you guys can see that there's old 18 year old Miranda Laying on the Kerwood Bridge. I see. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Kyle had my pictures in his um, car for the longest time. My senior pictures. I have no idea why I gave those to him, <laughs> but they were in there. It is. Yeah. Well, that was when we first got together and we weren't living together. You needed a little reminder of me. Uh, yeah. Okay, next thing. This little koala boy. We got him at a... Oh, look at his fingers open or his arms open. I think he's supposed to go on a pencil. I don't know. We like to go to antique shops. So we were up in, we got him in Traverse City, didn't we? Yeah. We were um, in Traverse City and we went to the antique shop and we always try to make it a point no matter where we go, we have to get something tiny to add to the love box, even if it's something silly like this. So we got this little koala man and this was from... I don't even remember what year. I think this was when we went up for my birthday. Yeah. My, what would that have been? My 24th? 23rd? 24th. 24th, I Yeah, because 23rd, I think I was in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, so 24th birthday. I got this little boo thing. Oh, okay. This is a little um, random piece of wood <laughs> that is like stamped from the Midland Center of the Arts, like kids thing. What is it called? I don't know, it says something discovery. But it's like this thing that you go through. Is this when we took Landon? Um, I, I think we never took Landon. Oh no, did we take Ashton? I think we just went. I thought we took Ashton. No. Maybe we just went by ourselves. I think we had it in our head that we were gonna take our nephews. But um, anyway, you could stamp a little thing on wood and I don't really know why I kept it, but I kept it. That's a really cool little, I don't know what you wanna call it museum place for kids but eventually when we have kids we'll definitely take our kids there oh looks like this is trivia this is what is this this is a list of songs to sing on karaoke <laughs> i don't know when this is from but we have millie vanilli step by step hansen mbop hootie that's what it says. No one would ever sing Millie I don't know. I, we got it crossed out. I don't know if that means someone did it or we decided not to. Uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, I Only Want to Be With You. TLC, No Scrubs. I mean, that's kind of an obvious. Uh, Oasis, Wonderwall, that's a good one. Mariah Carey, doesn't say which song though. What is this? Coolio. That's my <gasps> No, wait, 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 wait. This isn't from karaoke. I know what this is from. This is from our honeymoon when it was the trivia night with oh, that guy. Yes. Okay. All right. So, which I'm surprised we don't have this in here. I don't know where you put them. Okay. I don't know. So on the cruise, there was like these nights where it'd be like 90s night or 80s night or whatever. And it was trivia and they would like play part of a song and you have to like guess who it was. So this is our list from that. Well, Kyle ended up getting pulled up on stage and he sang Backstreet Boys in front of the whole ship and he got up there twice and he won two like karaoke, um, what do you call it, trophies or whatever and I don't know where those are. 
Where are they? They're, I think they're in the top of our closet because we couldn't fit them in the love box. But that was a really good time. And I have part of it on video. Actually, I should take... Okay, I have a video from our honeymoon that's currently on my makeup channel. I should re-download it to here for keeping up with the woodruffs. I mean, I know it's kind of old, so it would be like a repost type thing. But you guys could get a feel for how our um, honeymoon was. If that's something you guys want to see, comment below and let me know. Because I can definitely add it there for you guys. Three of these things, and these are from our bridal shower. They were little, um, like, bells that my mom got for little decor. So that's just from our bridal shower. We had a, whoop, a really pretty bridal shower that my mom and my sister threw for us. We got a lot of cute stuff. This is some type of bow that went on flowers that Kyle got for me. And it's a little raggedy. Yeah, this is this must be way old because you haven't gotten new flowers, got flowers in so long. I think this may have been our very first Valentine's. It was. He had our very first Valentine's. He surprised me when I was at work with the biggest arrangement of roses. I'm not even joking. I put it on the floor and it was like up to my freaking like hips. Not even joking. It was huge. It was like I think two dozen roses or more or something. And it had this big old bow on it. Um, and that was really sweet. Okay, next is a little trinket that we got from another um, antique shop. And it's like this little shot glass thing and it says it's like a it says it has a prescription on it and it says one shot every 15 minutes till no pain is felt <laughs> and we thought it was cute so we we picked that up and that again was from i believe traverse city right What's this was from traverse city i think yeah yeah traverse city when we went to an antique shop is okay these go together this was a card and a handwritten letter i won't read it don't worry that kyle um gave to me on our one year anniversary this past year in October. And he had it waiting in the hotel room when we got there after he surprised us. I'm not gonna read it, it's a secret. But it was beautiful and it made me cry. I like bawled my eyes out. Does this count as white ones? Let me see. I think so, I don't know. I don't really know, I should know that, but I don't. This is a card for Valentine's Day that I got Kyle. It says, you are my honey bun. I can't remember what year this was. I should have wrote the year in it. Oh, this would have been when we were in the house though. This was like not that long ago. When we last, this would have been from last Valentine's Day. Cause it was when I bought that um, table house. from Target. Yep. Remember I bought that table uh -huh. from Target for you and I decorated it, uh -huh. a little side table. You don't remember that? Mm -hmm. right, that table right there. Nope. You're a liar. I totally remember it. Well, this was nice. Okay, so this is a card that we got from um, the school where Kyle used to work at Farwell because we, um, what did we do? We chaperoned, we chaperoned a dance. And so everyone signed it, the student council and the um, office people. And I thought that was really nice. Next up, we have Elvis Lives Tickets. Oh, okay. So my girlfriend Stephanie and her husband Dean, they are traveling performers, artists, and Dean um, is an Elvis impersonator, which is like the coolest thing ever. So they were going to be down in Detroit at the uh, Macomb Center, or that's not really Detroit, but it's around that area. And they're not from here. They're originally from Missouri. And so she's a fellow unique girl and we're friends online, but I don't get a chance to really see her that often. We saw her on my honeymoon. Um, or our honeymoon that was the first time that I got to meet her and then when they came to Michigan They got us tickets and we went and got to see them and see their show and visit them afterwards and see the tour bus and stuff Which was super super fun Really really love them. I wish they lived closer because we would definitely have Okay, next up. I have our marriage certificate in here, which I had lost before but now it is found So marriage certificate kind of boring Oh, that's boring <laughs> It's not that, it's just, I don't know. It's just a marriage certificate. That doesn't mean nothing. Yet. It does mean oh, something yeah. to me. <laughs> These little stickers that say Old Town Trolley Tours. I don't know why this won't like, why won't this focus? Not that you guys really need to see it, but there you go. All right, so we got these when we went on our honeymoon. We went on a trolley tour through, was that in Miami, babe? Trolley? 
Or, no, 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 we went to the Keys, too. We went to... Yes. Right? Keys, yeah. Yeah, so that's where that was at. I believe that's where we went, right? Yeah, it is. Miami, the Keys, and Cozumel. Yeah. Okay, next up, my license, my last license as an Ogle I kept. Let's see if we can even... Will it... Is it going to focus? I don't think it's going to focus. Here we go. That was my last license as an Ogle. I kept this. Um, I'm going to keep this. It was a temporary. Oh, yeah. This was the temporary one once I changed my name. So they stapled my last license to it. So I just kept that just because of movie tickets. We try to keep all the stubs, but I know we haven't done that good of a job. There's Beauty and the Beast. That was a good one. Beauty and the Beast. Why him? That was a funny one. If you guys haven't seen Why Him, I suggest going. Cute. The Girl on the Train. That was a good one. A good right. thriller. I liked it. Right. Oh, Beauty and the Beast again. Did we? Oh, they must have not ripped off the stuff. That's why I'm like, did we go with someone else to that? I don't remember. Oh, okay. This little guy. I remember him. Do you remember this guy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the first thing that I ever bought, Kyle, ever. If this will focus, I don't know. Can you guys see it? This is a little lion. I'm sorry, he's so tiny, he won't focus. A little miniature lion. So I went to the Detroit Zoo with my cousin and her boyfriend at the time, and I invited Kyle. This was like before we were officially dating, I think. Or were we dating? We were not. We were not dating yet, but we were talking, and I knew we were going to date. So did? I did. Uh, How'd you know? Because I just knew. Didn't after, you know? Is it after that one night? What one night? Oh, we hung out. Was it before? I think it was before Nick's birthday party. Because oh. it was Nick's birthday party that oh, through, I really knew, but oh, I don't know. Anywho, anywho, um, so I went to the zoo without him. I invited him, but he couldn't go for some reason. There was something going on with busy. I think wrestling, honestly, because it was still in the winter time when we went. Yeah. And you were at a... Oh, shut up. <laughs> so I got him this little gift. He told me to pick him up something, and I... <laughs> I think I paid like a quarter for it. I don't know, but it's still here. He's still here. Next thing in the love box. This is a tissue from a bar when we were out one time, and we were writing notes to each other. And I asked him if he loved me, and he wrote down, yes. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote back, well, he put yes with a little smiley, and I wrote back, you just thirsty, and he said, true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I kept this. This is literally, like, over four years old, but I remember it. I remember going out with our friends, and that was when we, I think we... We're definitely dating at that point. We were dating and we were just all like infatuated with each other and oh, we're not anymore. Oh of course we are. Shut up. Okay, next up is a cheesy book that I got Kyle for Valentine's Day a few years back. What I love about Kyle by Okay, so the camera died on us. Um and dinner's ready. So we're gonna let the camera charge and then we will go back to unboxing the rest of the love box. I'm gonna show you how it turned out. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Looks pretty yummy. Would you say it's fairly easy to make, babe? Very easy. Yeah. Do a little taste test. <laughs> See if it tastes good. I know it's probably super hot, but. <laughs> scale, scale of one to ten. You re I'm gonna put a little more spice in it, but. You recommend people making this at home for date night? Definitely. Sweet. Okay, so we are done with our dinner. It was delish, by the way. I totally agree with Kyle. I think that we definitely recommend that recipe. I'm gonna try to link it in the video. If not in the video, I'll link it in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and make that for yourselves for date night. So we're just going to go ahead and we let the um, camera charge up a little bit while we're eating dinner and we're just going to finish unboxing the love box. There's so, a lot of more stuff in there. There is a lot of stuff in here. So I don't think we should go through everything. <gasps> yes, we should. That's what they wanted. <laughs> okay, so this is all together in one thing and I don't know why I kept all of this random stuff with it, but this is Kyle's. What was this? No idea. National 
the National Society of Collegiate Scholars. Oh, my sister's calling me. It's Hello? Before. Okay. Speaker. Ew, why? Speaker. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry, interruption, my sister called. So the next thing in the love box is this little hair piece from our wedding day. This went behind my veil and I kept it because I'm probably never gonna wear this again, but I don't know, maybe it'll be something our daughter might wanna wear on her right. wedding day, possibly. Um, oh yeah, but I, did we even explain this? Is the certificate of... I have no idea what this is. National Society of Collegiate Scholars, membership and recognition of whatever. It's you, some sort of award that he got. You never, I never seen that before in my life. Yeah, you did. I swear I never Well, did. it came in the mail and I kept it. What's okay, what's this? Hold on. Oh, a little, a little note that I wrote him and put in his car one time forever oh, ago. Yeah. Cheesy. I love you so much, Mr. Woodruff. Hope you have a great day. I'll be missing you. XOXO lover. No. <laughs> Why'd you just say ew? <laughs> you literally say lover all the time. Don't even let him fool you. That's such BS. Oh, a baby picture of me. Baby Miranda. Why is that in our love box? I don't know. <laughs> Three-year-old me. Look at how cute. Our baby's going to be really cute. It's a cute one. <laughs> Us though, this was okay from my mother in law Wendy. She got me a sunflower one year um, as a surprise and gave me this little card and said, Thanks for bringing sunshine into our lives, Wendy. And his little sister Emma in 2014 drew <laughs> this little thing. I just think it's cute. It's our family and little things that. Oh, what's this? Oh, I cut this out of the paper. Or actually, Kyle may have cut this out of the paper. And I cut it out of the paper. This is Kyle coaching. Look at him right there. And I highlighted his name and stuck it on the fridge. <laughs> All right. Next up. Oh, this is, oh, ticket to 21 pilots. I didn't actually go to this with Kyle, but this was when we first started talking. It was literally the day after we first started talking. So I was supposed to go with him, but I didn't end up going, but I kept it. What's this? A letter from... <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my god, six months in. Oh my six god. Six months into our relationship. It was his birthday. It says, it's your birthday. Honey Badger doesn't give a shit, but I do. <laughs> oh my god. The past six months have been the best of my life. So happy I get to celebrate your B-Day with you. I hope we can make it the best one yet. I'm so in love with you. Your future wife. Six oh months in, I was calling that. That is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. What is this? This is from Emma again. Oh, this is from Emma? Age nine. Oh. Going to fourth grade. I'm gonna show her this tomorrow. <laughs> Don't lose it though. I won't. Well, show it. You gotta hold it up. Show it. Another drawing from Emma. She drew outfits for us. Oh, it goes, from Emma, age nine, going to fourth grade, 8-15-2014, Saturday. Today is pick Pickle Festival. <laughs> it's funny. Babe, come on now. This You're just being ridiculous. Oh, what are the, oh, this is from our race that we did. We ran out, what was it, a, a was it a 5K? 5K. Was it a 5K? We ran a 5K together Um, for, I don't know how these are mixed together. We got these medals together, but we it was for, Eric put something together. Yeah. It was for the old folks home or something. Or something. And it was a superhero run. So we dressed up as superheroes and we ran together. Oh, a little note. I wonder when that was. I don't know, forever ago. Notes. Okay, um, next thing in the love box, it's the same picture, but this is from Adam and Laura's wedding in 2015. This was like, the weekend before we got engaged, I want to say. I don't know why this won't focus for you guys to see, but they had this cute little picture thing. Um, let's see. This was from those Valentine's Day flowers. A little note that Kyle got me. So he kept that. Lots of pictures. Where are all these pictures? We're not going to go through all these, but... Lots of pictures. Oh, that's a good one. This was our first um, New Year's together. 
so nice. Oh, that was the first Valentine's Day card I ever got you. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can read it though. Too you much. can't read it. You can't read it. <laughs> it's a funny one, but it's a um, it's kind of naughty. Kind of naughty. Okay, another. This was when we um, chaperoned one of the dances at the high school, and they had like these little props and stuff. I feel like you're just like throwing things around. Uh, what this? What are these? These are rocks from somewhere that we went. Where? Where did we go that we got these? <gasps> How do we not remember? Was this in Mexico? I no, think these were in, no. yeah, some of them were in Mexico. I picked up some pebbles mm -hmm. in Mexico. I did. That's weird. And then, where else though? I think maybe like Lake Michigan when we went to the beach. So, okay, a random rock collection of unknown rocks that we'll just say are from some of our travels. That went on our thing for our race. And they got my last name wrong, because this is before we were married. They called me Miranda Doyle <laughs> instead of Miranda Ogle. I don't even know how that happened. Our first Christmas pictures. How are they stuck together like this? Oh no, it's stuck in the back of this thing. This is another thing that Emma made for us. This is our first Christmas pictures with the fur babes. I want that focus. Maybe the county park. We went to the beach or something? Uh, yeah, this is when we went up north with Chris and Wendy, and we went... No, it's, it's yeah, it is. Sanford Lake right now. Oh, wait. Just kidding, then. Yeah, this must be from when we went to the beach one time. <laughs> I don't know why you put That's it. That's weird. Because <laughs> I like keeping uh, it. It's a memory when we went to the beach. Oh, here's a ticket from the Tigers game that we went to when? In 2015. Is this the one that I fell asleep at? Yeah. Yeah, I totally fell asleep. <laughs> I'm not big on sports, but um, I can't do that day drinking man too and that heat and stuff. Oh, look at this. A little note that I left in the morning for him one day. This was still when you were a gym teacher. Probably. This is a little thing that Emma made us, but it kind of fell apart, but I still have it for Valentine's That's Day. How did it go together? Little Kyle and Miranda stick. A cork from some bottle of wine that you got for Valentine's Day. I should start writing on these things because I can't ever remember. Another stone. This had to have been from Mexico. That's pretty much it. And there's tons of Movies. movie tickets. Tons. And yeah, mm. it looks like, oh wait, hold on. You're missing out on a couple things. We have some bracelets for his cousin Jeffrey Woodruff and his father, Tim Woodruff. Oh, that has both their names on it. Who both passed away. These are bracelets that his aunt um, gave us, so we kept that in a special place. And, oh, <laughs> another note we can't read. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it though. That's the love box. We keep a lot of random stuff, um, a lot of little, I don't know, random cheesy things, but they mean something to me. Do they mean something <laughs> they to do. you? They do. There's just a lot of stuff that doesn't but need to be going in what? there. what? <laughs> you don't want to remember the time that we went to the beach in 2014? <laughs> I don't think that, that's love box worthy. <laughs> what? I think it is. I think it needs to be more special. I think every moment with than, you is uh, special. What is this? Lumber Baron's certificate? Or no, <laughs> receipt to the restaurant? This is a receipt for one time when we went out to get drinks. Yeah, that should not be in there. And, uh... I think you're just... 2015. <laughs> I think that every moment is special. Signing Thank off. you. Uh, signing off. Uh, you don't think all of your moments are special with me? They are. You don't think all of the moments are love box worthy? Before that. Smell oh, so nice. Smell. Smells great. I don't. Why am mm. I agreeing to this? Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god, it literally <laughs> smells like pickled beets. <laughs> pickled, freaking sour ass. Quit swearing. Something is wrong with your feet. No, they need to be mean. soaked yeah, in them. acid. <laughs> soak them. Nasty. Okay, guys, so we're going to pick this up. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in to our latest vlog. Um, please let us know in the comments below what else you want to see from us, different video ideas. Actually, I recently found this subscription to 
it's like a food subscription box and you get food from all over the world and so I think I'm going to sign us up for that and I think one of our next videos we're gonna try out some treats from all over the world I think that would be interesting um, but let me know what you think in the comments below and yeah thanks again for tuning in say thank you ah!